And then this way, just for a second. God, I started working with Kate when I was 14. I'm 39. You know, I mean, it's like, what does she mean to, to women? You know, like she saw a gap in the market. She was wholly herself. You know, she she started at Mademoiselle and then, you know, like someone like her that really pioneered something which was like, okay, you know, she wanted to make beautiful handbags and beautiful clothes and bright colors and, you know, she's very like whimsical and free and, and like she made everybody feel welcome and, you know, she just, she really paved the way for women in such a huge way that I don't think a lot of people know about her, you know, and, and at a price point in which women could afford, you know, without like compromising quality and a lot of people weren't thinking about that stuff then, you know? And just who he was, you know, to the world, the way that he crossed borders and boundaries and races and circumstances and, and people and communing with people. He was about the communion, you know, he was about going into people's home and, you know, like meeting them at their level. And, you know, he did, like, again, like a pioneer in that way. Like when he started CNN, it's like the idea of having a chef as a journalist, you know, but he, he was that guy. You know, and and what he also what he did for women, he stood up for us. You know, when he he stood up for our, our movement, and and you know, even if someone did nothing, it's not about someone's successes. It's about the fact that every human life has value, and that we are living in an epidemic. <laughs> We have to address this crisis that's happening. The second highest cause of death for adolescents, 15 to 19, is suicide. It replaced homicide. So number one is accidents. Two, two is suicide. Three is homicide. Like the fucking 30, excuse me, a 30% jump in suicide. What is that saying about our supposedly connected life? And what we're thinking about, and people think, oh, well, that person, you know, have mental health issues or this or that, but it's that is not always the case, you know. And we need to tell people that they're valued and they're worthwhile, and we need to we need to remember ourselves that we're we're worthwhile. I never watched the show, but I'm a fan of him and, and his voice, and I have a lot of friends who are diehard fans, and it's. Yeah, it's very sad. What are the Um, well, I guess when, you know, I mean, it happens every day, but when someone who's in the public eye passes away, um, I mean, mental health issues are a huge deal, and it just hopefully will bring more awareness and more, um, you know, sympathy, and, and people are able to, I think that what's what I've seen a lot today on it's like social media and stuff or just the hotline numbers and stuff for people um, who aren't famous to be able to reach out and feel like they have they're heard and they have someone to talk to. Thank you. And then I, I mean fashion's with you. Right? Yeah. So that's the, that's my you should have seen what Corey had on an hour ago. Yeah. Take the red Well it's really like, it's awfully sad. I mean, yeah. you know, it's obviously important that people realize when you know <clears throat> people think that things are always great for people but sometimes they're not and people are suffering and mental illness is a really important issue that we do need to discuss more openly in society and not shame it because hopefully people can then search out and have help and not make those kind of drastic decisions because that's really it's, it's awful for her family I have so much sympathy for them in this time. Were you calling the brand at all? I, I, I met but, her once. Okay. She actually, ironically, is from Kansas City like I am, but I never worked with her or knew her uh, intimately. I had met her once on occasion and just chuckled and shook her hand about the fact that we were both from Kansas City. She seemed like a very lovely person and my sympathies are with her family. Can you believe it? No! <laughs> <laughs> Aww. It is now that you guys are in here. Good to see you. So glad you did it.